Tom Liu with another episode of My Car Story. We're in Milwaukee at the World of Wheels, and I'm at Alex. He's got a great car for you. Alex, first of all, your last name? St. Louis. St. Louis. Alex St. Louis, and the year, make, and model of this one? 1925 Model T Speedster. <laughs> You're going to enjoy this. So first of all, how did, uh, uh, let's just show this. This baby has no fenders. It's just ready to race. How did this, first of all, how long you had it? About five years. Okay. And why this car out of all the cars in the world? Well, my uncle was restoring a 65 Cornette, and I one day said to him, what am I going to drive to car shows with you? And he goes, well, we'll find you something. Comes back with a 25 mile T speed. Wow. Now, you don't actually crank this to start it. Do no. You have, you have an electric starter no, for I it? I do, but okay. I can crank it. It still will crank over. Is that right? Yeah. Like, have you brought this to Model T clubs or anything? I have not. Okay, I'm wondering what they would think of this. I think it's super cool. Take a look at those rims. Now, tell me about those rims. What did they originally look like? They were originally had about seven layers of black lacquer on them. <laughs> and uh, it took wow. about four days to get them down really good. But a couple months in the garage. And if that doesn't look great with your orange stripe, let me just stand back so I can show people this. That really is striking. It'll be the only 25, probably the only Model T here. So now, tell me how, usually it has fenders and things like that. How did this come to you? What, what kind of happened with it? How did this all come about? Yeah, so there was uh, 27 uh, Roadster fenders on it. Yeah. And we got it, the guy gave it to us with these skirts, put it in the garage over a weekend, squirted them, yeah. and took the fenders off and put these skirts on. So I ha always have the option to go back to the fenders. Sure. Yeah. Well, the striking part to me is clearly the back. How did you come up with number 26? My birthday. Your birthday. Yep, my birthday. <laughs> and if you look at it from straight back, it looks like that. <laughs> nice. So you put the paint scheme on it. Yep. And look at the striping in there too, which gives it that flavor of the old school. You've got the antique light there. What is this here? Is this your My license plate, plate holder? Plate post. Okay. I really like how it has that nice chrome piece down the center, giving it that true boat feel. Now share with me how this operates. All right, so here's your parking brake. Okay. Um, you've got clutch, which isn't your traditional clutch. you got reverse in the middle and a brake, which isn't a brake. It's a cotton line band that slows the transmission down. So if I put this lever in the middle, I'm in neutral, I could push the car forward or backward. I push the clutch down, give it some throttle. And throttle is right, right here. here. Yep. And this is your timing advance. Push the clutch in, and if this is all the way down to the floor, I have to hold my foot on the clutch for a neutral position. And then once that's activated in low gear, I release my foot off the clutch, bring the throttle back up drop the throttle back in and I'm in high gear and I can cruise up to about 45 miles an hour. How long did it take you to learn that? A solid year okay. to get it to get it all down and nothing I, in the way and every now and again I still get fumbled <clears throat> up and got it. <laughs> you hear that noise. Nice spot. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Yep. So simple and yet what now seems complex but that is great. The mirror right there that you can see and let's show them under the hood shall we? Like, do your friends all want to go for a ride in it? All the time. Yeah, I all would imagine. It's even hard for me to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the super coolest go-kart ever, right? I mean, yeah. with, the, with the wheels exposed, yeah. and your uncle did an amazing job. Let's show the other side just so yeah. you can see how that works. Love the Ford strip there in the center. Now, if we keep this up, can we fire it and show them how it's operational? Yeah, yeah. So we've got, here's your gas and exhaust on the same side. 
All right. Your flathead. Your four. Is it difficult to, to maintain or no? Um, not in particular. Okay. No. All right. Pretty simple to maintain. Yeah. Right, let's uh, fire it for you. Keep it on full throttle. Super cool. Well, Alex, what a great car. I mean, so much fun. Such a fun time meeting you. Thanks for getting a chance to share with us. I know it's going to be one of the featured displays here in the Real, World of Real Show. Thanks so much for being on my Thank first Thank you. Show.